From the floor of the CME Group, this is Danny Riley with today's pre-Fed update. It's going to be a big one, guys. Now look, the S&P has basically gone from 1983 quarter up to 2052 quarter. We've had a 70 handle rally in three days. Now, the question going into this is, is has the S&P gone too far, too fast, and what to expect? Now, Ryan from Forex Live, I'm going to do a little shout out to my guys in London. You know, those London traders, they, they, they love trading and research. And I'll tell you what, Forex Live is a really, really good website and a good company with a lot of good people. But anyways, Ryan reached out to me and asked me what I thought would happen after, well, what would happen after the Fed raises interest rates? I think that was his question. We just said, what would happen after the Fed made its announcement today? Given that I think that the Federal Reserve will raise a quarter of a point today, I went out to Twitter and I asked several people on Twitter what they thought. And let me read these out, excuse me. Watching the summer set, at watching the summer set, move up and then fade the down, then fade down toward end of the day. Excuse me. Todd Butterfield at Black Bay Group said, Fed doesn't raise, deflation is taking hold, and they know it. That could be. I, I agree. I agree on that deflation stuff. I just don't know if they're going to back off from what they put themselves, the corner they put themselves into. Uh, DJ Flowmaster, uh, I like that, that handle, at DJ Flowmaster said, metals and oil down, stocks up. I kind of agree with you on that one. Now, let's see. Corporation Comey said PPT and the fixers will push it up to 2100 to close Friday no matter what the, well, happens. Well, it's something, some word goes in there, but we'll leave it out on this, on this one. Well, I, I agree. I think there's a big rip coming, but I can't rule out a big dip. Now, Nigel Marks, hike equals knee-jerk knee up, indices down. Dollar up, indices down. Tomorrow reversal. Luke McLean, McLeanin, at Luke, well, it's a renewable. I think that's what it is. Excuse me if I've got it wrong. No hike. Sell off like you've never seen before. Hike equal rally only to be sold X days later. When hike is good, euphoria wears off. Ugh. That, <laughs> that could be. That could be. My man Gino says pop and then drop at Gino. Uh, pop and then drop, possible pop into the close and selling through Friday's OPEX. Now that that may be a, that that could be one of the scenarios that ends up being the correct one. And then Gino goes on to say, I don't know why, but my gut says my gut feel tells me we ultimately end the week lower from this level. ES twenty forty sell. At Dragon 3 says, the top will be in if no new high tomorrow. And then, uh, let's see, Elanum 40 says, rate hike not priced in, I'm not sure, in flattish. Okay, he thinks flattish at the end of the day. And then my man, Dr. James Cabot, uh, points out that he thinks that there's counterparty risk. Now, look. Today is not the only day that there's going to be a lot of risk on the table. As you saw when the API came out today, crude oil went down and the S&Ps went for the ride. But now they've rallied a little bit back. Overall trade is a little bit lighter than it's been. And again, we're still on the S&P roll, so a lot of the volume we're seeing is coming from the spread and Globex. But again, I think the algorithms are going nuts in here. I think that they're just, every headline that's got anything to do with rate hikes or Federal Reserve or any of that, is just being absorbed by these algorithmic programs that are running through the S&P and all the bond market and everything else. It's algorithmic day is what it is. But then, you've, but again, today's not the only risk day. Tomorrow, you've got the crude oil options expiration, and that tends to be a very, very volatile day. And based on where crude oil is, how it's trading right now, I would suspect that you should be looking at crude oil tomorrow because there's going to be a lot of jumping around there. And then finally, into the D-Squad Witch, where... Supposedly, Marcos from uh, J.P. Morgan is predicting 
a jump in commodity prices and a 2% 2 drop in the S&P tomorrow, or on, on Friday. So net-net, there's going to be a lot, a lot of volatility here. But let's go back to today's Federal Reserve meeting. Look, I'm a bull, but I'm no fool. The, the S&P has rallied a total of 70 handles in three days, like I said in the first part of the video. So potentially the near-term risk would be to the downside, at least the way I see it. I disagree that the, the Fed rate hike isn't in the, in the market right now, or it hasn't been priced in. I think it has. But I think what the S&P will be subject to will be some type of knee-jerk reaction. Once the Federal Reserve comes out and says it's raised rates and it's put out its statement, it will have to be somewhat hawkish going into it because they just don't know what the data will be moving forward. That said, after the drop, if the S&Ps drop, I think that there's going to be a big pop. And that's what I think my friend Ryan from Forex Live was looking for. But that said, traders, it's going to be a very volatile day, a very volatile session, and a very, very volatile Fed meeting today. Keep your, keep your stops tight and trade them hard. I'll see you tomorrow on the opening print. <clears throat>